topics so that we can compensate to the you know different topics that we'll be able to blog okay to you okay because there's a lot to discuss okay problem number two okay okay guys mga palangga okay an electron released an electron released by the way guys who discovered electrons let's refresh our memory who discovered electrons as a negatively charged particle so it is jg thompson okay electron released who discovered neutron mr james chadwick and who discovered neutron that is ernest rutherford okay so you, you should remember the, the basics in particles elementary particles okay so an electron okay released from rest okay i've memorized that when i was in grade five or grade six in my elementary elementary level of education from rest in a uniform electric field electric field ganon okay nakakaluta diba and accelerates to the est wow this addiction guys nakakaluta and accelerates accelerates to the to the east the, the sun rise in the east right and the sun uh, set to the west okay the nuns go to the east uh, for zero times 10 to the second six meter per second square okay what is the magnitude and duration what is the magnitude and direction meaning we are directed to solve the vector quantity of our electric field of electric field ah. field guys this is a place a specific place or a specific region where your electricity results or impacted the impact of impact and it will take effect there because if there is no uh, place location origin such as a, a wire uh, whatever uh, material then there's no electricity will be happening okay that is field if i e l d a material okay in which this electric will uh, do their job electricity something like that okay so the non so an electron released from rest in a uniform electric field and it accelerates to the east at 4 times 10 to the 6 meter per second squared. What is the magnitude and direction of an electron, electric field? Now the confusing part is, I always, you take note also when I discuss, I always say the confusing term, the confusing word, because this is normal in any problem solving. That there are really tricky part of the paragraph. Sometimes it will have an impact. Sometimes it will have a decoration effect only. So you can see a problem so negative, but at the end of your solution, it doesn't need to be substituted in the equation. So the purpose only is to try to confuse the examinee or how can how you understand the the problem. Okay, prangal lang siya. Okay, see, an electron release from vessel. Paro ke prangal. Dito din siya sa ito, mga initial velocity is equal to zero. Right? Okay, from rest, man. So, maroon mo na muna. No? Your brain cells direct you to think, ah, oh, kinematic. Kinematic motion. Because this uh, started from rest. Okay? Mama na siya mga kinematic motion. Okay? An object started from rest. Blah, blah, blah. So, and so. Ganun. It will have a final velocity of blah, blah, blah. It looks like the same like here. But this this term has no relevance okay so because we don't need the initial velocity okay but we need the acceleration 
Okay, like that. And you need the final velocity, which is only the V. Okay? Because the point anak sharp. In this topic, guys, we don't think we need to extract the initial velocity. The velocity there will be the both the final and the initial from the node. Okay? So we mga out of the Okay, what is the English of the yoke? Uh, diba? So this is, I really love this noodles, this is, uh, you know, I should be careful also sometimes with this because, you know, this contains uh, MSG, a chemical known as a monosodium glutamate, which is uh, not very good, not really good in our brain cells function. Wow! <laughs> it will deteriorate our bones like that. Bones are uh, structures, the, the joints, the, what do you call this one? The, the ligaments, what else? Ito na mga sumpot-sumpot din sa itong mga kabukugan, mga, ano, mga vertebrae, okay? Diba? Mga muscoskeletal uh, parts, especially in our, at the back, the muscoskeletal, right? The spinal column going here, like this, like this. Okay, tang kubo going there. Okay, ganon. So, muna siya natabu. So, it will be weekend. And when, when you reach at the age of 70, then you will be curving your posture already. Because you are loving of eating too much salty food. Like this, noodles. <laughs> I have to eat because... I'm just human being, right? Like that, so problem. Okay, sometimes I will eat, let's say once, once in a month, twice in a month, like that, okay? But not frequent. So, uh, eating junk foods or any salty chips, okay, can weaken your, I know, mga bone structures, mga venom. Muscles, bones, muscles, and tissues. Okay, ganun. Okay, guys. Wait. I need to hit platinum plan the noodles. This is hot, spicy. I love spicy. This is a Korean noodles. Okay. Korean noodles it has spicy. This is shinko. Okay. Like this. Okay. This is my favorite. Even, even when I was in Taiwan, I always eat this noodles. Okay. Like that. Let it stand for at least a uh, maximum of five minutes. Okay? Okay, going back to the problem now. Okay. So, we have an electron. Let's say an electron will be here. Electron, uh, naturally, it is a negatively charged. So you have to put negative. Okay. What is the direction of your uh, electric field if it is negative? Okay? It will direct towards the electron particle itself. It will go like this. Okay? Now, this is it electric field. Diba? So what will happen to your force? Okay, your force will also go into the left here. Like that. Ganan. So, now what is the formula of electric field? Electric field is equals to the force over the charge. You don't have the force? Ekes. Do you have the charge? It has also. So at least you have you need two equations here because you have two unknowns. Two unknowns need two equations to solve the problem smoothly. Okay. So what is our first? This one is our first equation. Our second equation we need to choose either it could be the force or it could be uh, the charge because there's no other choice, right? So force. So 
Can we relate the force and electric force uh, formula or gravitational force? We cannot relate, right? Because there's need masses. Okay, too much masses. Two, at least two for the you know for the gravitational. But only one. Okay, no problem. Okay. But we are trying to solve for the force is equals to mass times gravitational field strength. Why? Acceleration due to gravity in downward motion because this is see upward. I'm very surprised in the new form of the data that's of two, 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 like that. I uh, use this is not upward, this is horizontal, see to the eastman shaft. Okay, like this east. So going to the east. Okay, so it was mentioned in the problem specifically. So we have a wrong assumption because it's mentioned specifically, see east. East. Okay, if you don't have a specific direction, then you have, you have to have assumption. But if there is a specific direction and a magnitude, then use that in your equation, huh? Okay? <laughs> okay. Ganun. So this is electron. I'm moving the Eastman shaft. Ganun. Okay. And then your force will be going to the left. Okay. Ganun. Okay. Eastman shaft. Anak mo siya, guys, oh? North... East, west, west, south. This is the direction of a compass, something like that. Okay, it's follow the direction because it's mentioned on the shot. Okay, ana sa shot. Hello. Okay. Wow, sarap nito. Di ba? More niya ako dinner. Di ba? Para sa ekonomiya. So, magulit ako ba'y bugas? Diba guys? Okay, steel, the noodles perfectly. Ayan. To absorb the the flavoring of uh, yeah, ingredients okay oh my gosh chili 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 the paper is floating at the surface of the you know so floating with a higher less density <laughs> perfect Mmm, perfect na perfect na taste. Okay, now we have an equation. Then we need to use the force in terms of acceleration in horizontal motion. Not the upward and the downward. So we need to use the acceleration A. Huh? So it's going to be mass times acceleration. In the second law, Isaac Newton. Okay, second law. And then substitute that here, it will become electric field is equal to mass times acceleration over the Q. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is your mass? Okay, do you have the mass? Guys, the mass was not mentioned, but since this is in our basic theory, we have the mass of electron, mass of the proton, and mass of the neutron. In this problem, it happens that it was not mentioned. So, it's understood you memorized it, or you scan the books for the particular table. But since there is no open book in the, you know, in the higher examination, so nga nga, you should memorize really the masses of elementary particles it could be given it could be not okay expect the unexpected then you should memorize them. and take yung kasi guys mga engineering examination world examination what will be in your mind will be always the statement 
Expect the unexpected. Okay, more not shy, you can add. Okay. Dengan. Nanti Tesha ini Tesha guys. Wow. Hmm. Ay. Kataloh kak. Hmm. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Electric field. The mass of an electron is 9.109. Times 10 to the negative 31 kilogram. Very light. That's why it is in the outermost shell of a nucleus circulating. Okay, because it's lighter. Okay. Then, times acceleration is given in the problem, which is 4. Okay, 10 to the 6 meter per second squared. Over the Q. This is the charge of an electron. I teach you already the standard. One electric charge is equals to 1.6027 times 10 to the negative 19 column. So you will memorize the basics. Okay, so that you can answer well. Okay, because not all the time will be given. Okay, four exponent. Okay, to the 6, charlat, 4 exponent to the 6, diba, times 9.11 exponent to the negative 31, is equals to divided by 1.6027 exponent to the negative 19. Then your electric field will be 2.27 times 10 to the negative 5. So this is still your Newton per column. So this is your magnitude. Because this is the figure. We mean of magnitude, figure, value, or the numbers. Okay? Then the direction. We don't know yet. So go back to your drawing where it goes. Okay? So your electric field will be going to the west. Okay? Because this is negative. Okay? So the negative, it will be going outward man siya. Oh. In, inside, sorry, inside. And if you go inside here, then this is west. So this is 2.27 times 10 to the negative 5 newton per column at west. Okay. If you don't put west, your answer will be wrong because that, uh, it is required to give the direction. Okay? Because this, it's asking for the vector quantity of your electric field. No, not sure. Any questions so far? For our problem number two. On the back. Dalit na problem number two. I hope you like this problem number two. And you can share this to your friends, colleagues in work, to your sons and daughters, okay, that who are taking up now physics lecture one and two. And then you're gonna uh, teach them as a guide, you know, guidance for them how to solve properly this kind of topic. And then you can even be chat in my the messenger regarding physics and chemistry to also give a little bit of guidance if I can make it. <laughs> Okay, because I cannot also make everything. Okay, thank you so much. Well, my God bless everybody. See you later. So I will be doing my FB live later. Okay, just uh, follow me there for a while. Okay, so.